this is a classic kickboxing versus Muay Thai match. And here we go. Here we go. Um, Sugarfoot Peter Cunningham. Ooh, he's kicking more at the legs. So in the first fight, the one thing that hurt him, despite him winning, was those leg kicks. So he's almost returning the favor. Ooh, relying on his boxing. Oh, got swept a little. I think he got swept a little. Uh, apparently there was a knee being thrown. So it looks like this is kickboxing and K1 rules. Actually, K1, you can do knees. This So this must be kickboxing rules. Um, yeah, so in the first match... Sugarfoot, oh, you see those leg kicks? Sugarfoot took a few of them, and he remembered them for the rest of his life. Ooh, that was a good little kick that's different than a Muay Thai team. So, I noticed that Sugarfoot's kicks are much more like a baseball bat than in the previous match. So, if you guys haven't seen my coverage of the previous match, go check it out. This was on, oof, ouch, that leg kick hurt. You see, Sugarfoot got his leg kick checked. Um, this is the second match, and this is on Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham's channel, so go follow Peter's channel too. Ooh, nice little kick to the face. Get him thinking, especially since Sagat's hands sometimes drop a little, right? So, I feel like Sugarfoot has the right range for jab. I don't know why he's not throwing jabs. There's a few times where Sagat was in jab range. Ooh, that kind of um, unique sidekick that we saw from Sugarfoot's first match. Sugarfoot's slowly raising his knees to check, but he's still eating a lot of kicks. He kicked at the support leg of Sagat. In this match, compared to the first match, Sugarfoot isn't dancing around, doing sort of like a Michael Jackson impression almost. He's not doing that anymore. I don't know why. And, oh, look at that. Um... That is Benny Orquides. Dude, Benny the Jet Orquides is in Sugarfoot's corner. That's crazy. That's Benny Orquides, guys. We've definitely covered Benny Orquides once on this channel. Might have covered him a few more times, but we've definitely covered him at least once. Sagat's corner. Sagat, from what viewers were telling me, some viewers actually have trained under Sagat's students say that he's also done boxing. So despite me thinking that Sugarfoot might have more skill in the boxing department, Sagat's a contender too. But so far, I think Sugarfoot's used his boxing training a little bit more effectively than Sagat. So I don't know what's going on there. Bowtie ref called the pause right there. Look at that. The um, skipping little... Uh, side or roundhouse kick. I mean, oh, there you go. Rely on your boxing. See, okay, there you go. We see some of that little Bruce Lee look-alike type of fight style right now in Sugarfoot Cunningham. Oof, so he gets pressure. Oh, good kick. That was amazing. That spin kick right there. So it looks like Sugarfoot this time almost took a Muay Thai strategy. He basically took a round to download, and now he sort of... Oh, it looks like because our man caught the leg, um, Sagat got a point taken off. So definitely kickboxing rules. So, all right, here we go. Come on, Sugarfoot, do more of your Michael jackson -ness. It was working. See? There it is. Nice. That was blocked by the crook of the elbow. That kick got him in the face. Nice. Um, there we go. See, he's frustrating Sagat. This is great. <laughs> look at it. Look at that overhead camera. Um, oh, I see. They wanted to talk about the sponsor. The one thing that Sagat's really good at doing is he's good at getting his head a little bit out of the way, pulling back, as we say. He's saved his head from a lot of kicks from that. So there we go. Jam him. That's the thing that I think Sagat started figuring out the first match, but it was too late. So Sagat's kind of remembering that lesson again. So, 
again, I don't know how to say his name. Is this Sagat? Is this Sakad? Is this Sagat? Is this Sakad? I don't know. But we just know that I think this second round, Sugar for Wallace definitely took. Especially because there was a one point deduction on Sagad. Um, I think the first round probably was, if they didn't take a point off for their knee, it was definitely Sagat's. So it's 1 1 right now. Okay, so third round time. Oh, I see. The ref keeps trying to tell Sugarfoot's corner to chill out or something. There we go. I see. We got a lot more kickboxing now. I see what he's doing. He almost took the Muay Thai strategy of just dialing it up later, but in a kickboxing way. Oh, this is very cool. Um, See, now he's looking much more like he was the first fight. Wow, I'm so glad we covered this, man. This is... Way better, way better than the first one. So, um, the first one, it was the first time, right? So, it was a little bit more of just, okay, let's just give it our all, at least for Sugarfoot. The second one, he's being much more strategic, which is awesome, because he knows he can't take too many kicks of Sagat. So, let's try to be strategic about it. That was almost like a Muhammad Ali moment. He bounced off the ropes a little bit. Look at that, man. Dude, this is Karate Foundation's kickboxing. You see, he's not fighting like a regular kickboxer, like modern-day kickboxer, right? He looks almost like a karateka that adopted his style. Like, he's got boxing footwork and boxing punches, but a karateka type of mentality. Look at this. Look at this. I love this. And a karateka type of kick combination. Look at that. I love this. This is, people say if Bruce Lee really trained to fight, Bruce Lee would look a lot like this. So, nice. A little check hook right there. So, um, I love the hooks that also help you angle off, man. Those are very, very, they're not too hard to learn, but they're very hard to master. There we go. That combo. What happened there? Oh, okay. That was the end of the third round. I think that round definitely decidedly went to Sugarfoot Wallace. Did I say Sugarfoot Wallace or Sugarfoot Cunningham? <laughs> okay, so this is the fourth round. And Sagat already has four did I say four? Already has two leg kicks, four. I was like, I guess I'm thinking he's going to land at least four kicks on Sugarfoot if this continues, man. Look at that. There we go. Sugarfoot with his classic little swagger. There you go. Jamming the kicks. Kicking his leg back. Not as much damage as Sagat did to his leg, but almost always winning the boxing exchanges. So... Look at this, look at this, I love this, look at that, look at that. He's back in that almost semi-Philly shell style he did in the first match. Here we go, here we go. Um, nice, always angling to the left while he's punching. Nice, another kind of evade, bounce off the ropes, come back. Very cool, very cool. Some Muay Thai fighters, including Will, um, the Canadian Muay Thai fighter we cover, he likes to bounce off the ropes too, but in a Muay Thai context. So, look at this. Oof, that looked like it hurt. Dude, l notice he's not on the balls of his feet anymore. Um, Sugarfoot, aka Peter Cunningham. So, his um, he's feeling the strikes, man. He's trying to keep it cool, but he's feeling it on his leg. He's most definitely feeling those strikes on his. He takes a few more of those kicks like that. He is not gonna be able to use his legs too well, either in punches or kicks. Ooh, almost ate a hook right there. Nice, that was a good combo right there by Sugarfoot. There we go. Every time he um, is able to duck out of the way that last hook by Sagat. 
Ooh, which that was too even to call, man. I don't know who took that one. There wasn't a decided winner like some of the previous rounds. Okay, so round five. See, notice Sugarfoot's not moving around as much. See that? Look at that. That was a great Ura Mawashi Gary. He did a he did a um hook kick on Sagat's face. Sagat got an iron face, man. Dude, I love these karate kicks. Wow. Nice! Another hook that found its target, man. Dude, I'm really, really going to study this to see how he lands those lead hooks, man. He's done a really good job using them. Again, he landed another lead hook, man. Oof. But again, paying for it with leg kicks that are going to make his legs swell up after this, man. If not during. Depending on how many rounds, man. He checked that one, finally. Dude, I love this. I love this. A lot of people are like, oh my god, where's the karate, man? Obviously, there's a lot of karate in this, man. You don't see... His type of kicks, even in modern kickboxers. Dude, Peter Cunningham, a.k.a. Sugarfoot's lead leg is hurting, man. You can tell it's hurting. See, he's trying to get back into that bounciness, but <laughs> you see, he can't do it. He can't do it. He's like, ow, ow, every time. It's like, ow, ow, ooh, good kick to the inner thigh. Yeah, unfortunately... Once your leg starts hurting, he's trying, man. He's trying with footwork. And I'm sure his corner is telling him, yo, use your cool footwork, man. Frustrated and confused to God. There we go. That's some more of that. Okay. Um, is this it? Or are there going to be more rounds? Oh, there's definitely going to be more rounds. Okay, so this is round six. I don't remember how many rounds the previous match went to, but this is definitely more rounds than the previous one. They really are going to duke it out in this one. So now we have to look at stamina and conditioning, right? Which, that was a axe kick by... That was... Ooh. Um, Sort of got his leg caught, but the ref didn't do anything. But that was a little spin kick. Another spin kick. There we go. There we go. We see, we see some more of this great footwork by Sugarfoot Peter Cunningham. Yeah, occasionally, I mean, um, you have an incentive to move to one side, right? But occasionally you should move to the other side sometimes when circling out. Hmm, nice. Nice. There you go. This still good with the angles. Despite his, you see him dragging his... Left leg a little bit. Oh, ouch, ouch, that one hurt. You see, he put his hand down. He put his he put his left hand down. It's hurting. He's hurting. Ooh, dude. Oh, man. Sagat really hurt Peter with those leg kicks. You see, his, his hand's down. It's like unconscious, you see? He's signaling. Ow, ow, you see? He's signaling. Oh, man, leg kicks, man. Those Muay Thai leg kicks are no joke, people. Are no joke. There you go. Nice. But not too much power anymore. It's almost like he has to jump like that. He has to launch like that. Because he doesn't have enough power with just one foot planted. It's too hurt, man. The muscle stopping working as efficiently as before. So, still sort of on the outside. Landing kicks and landing boxing combos. Ooh, good, good, good angle off. In fact, sent Sagad barreling into the ropes because his energy was too much forward. Okay, so another leg kick, man. Ooh, look at Peter. See, he's even walking. Peter's lifted a little. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the seventh round, people. Oof, yeah. Those leg kicks are going to add up, people. Oof. Look at how Peter's walking. Nice. Going in with a... Um, Yoko Gary, as we say. Although there's another name for it that's more technical, but Yoko Gary's like sidekick in karate, so. But he kind of skipped in, so there's another term for it, but I just called it Yoko Gary, because again, I promise you guys I learned the terms eventually. 
and you know, I did a little karate as a kid, so I should learn the terms. So I can't guarantee I'm gonna learn the Taekwondo or Judo terms, but since I did a little karate as a kid, I should learn the karate terms. So that's the only guarantee. I have. Ouch! Um, that leg kick looked like it hurt again, and he took another one. Sort of checked that one. Ooh, he definitely did not check that one. Ouch! I mean, depending on how many more rounds this goes, man. But if this um, goes more rounds, the leg kicks are really, really, really gonna gonna add up, man. So was it um was it another grabbing of the leg or something that the ref warns to God about? I don't know. Good head movement and angle by Sagat. So, Sugarfoot still trying to use his footwork to confuse and frustrate. Seems to be working again. Nice. Ooh. Nice. There we go. That's the Muhammad Ali right there. He checked that kick finally. Ooh, nice. I think what I'm learning from this is that you might even land a hit on Sagat, but he's still going to come in with a combo. So you have to be prepared for not just a strike after your strike or a strike during your strike, but a combo during your strike. That's really scary, man. Like the average person, it's like you hit me, I hit you. A more advanced person, I get hit as I'm trying to hit you, right? And then in this high level, it's like, I might hit you, but I might get a combo as I hit you. So you have to anticipate the combo while you hit. That's crazy. So that was the seventh round. I think there's one more round at least, right? Yep, there's one more round, guys. Okay, here we go. Eighth round. Oh, no. That was again at his lead. Like, there we go. Wow. Dude, who does he fight? Like, um, Peter, if we're going with Street Fighter references... Peter Sugar for Cunningham almost fights like Ryu or Ken, dude. It's crazy. Obviously, he's not in his gi, right? But he fights like Ryu or Ken. There's probably other characters in later Street Fighter or later Tekken that we can have better equivalents for. But I never played the later Street Fighters, and I never really played Tekken. I mean, I played Tekken once, and I remember Eddie Gordo. That's why when I saw Capoeira, I was like, oh, that's the thing Eddie Gordo was doing. But, like, I don't play fighting games too much because I was never too good at them. So, oof, look at that. Go on, get back that Michael Jackson footwork, my man. So, I think if I were Sagat's corner, I would say, dude, you got to draw some blood, man. I think you're not winning. I think Sagat's corner has to have given him a talk, man, because... Just by presentation alone, I think Sugarfoot's won this despite all the leg kicks he took, man. He's really good at playing to the crowd. Like, I'm rooting for him because he's the more exciting fighter. He's the more unorthodox fighter. And I can only imagine, oh, another kick to the face. I can only imagine he's the underdog in this, man. What do you guys think? Do you think he's the underdog despite winning that first match? That was a good, um, he threw a right hook over the top earlier so now it's overhook he has a left overhook on Sagat the ref should break it up exactly oh another kick to the face that side kick to the face is landing so much man nice another spin kick that was the end of the eighth round what do you think guys is that it they're doing nine rounds so this is going into the tenth round this is a ten round match guys Oh my goodness. Wow. I guess we have a title now. 10 rounds of karate versus Muay Thai madness or something like that. Here we go. Sagas definitely slowed down. I think all those kicks to the face have hurt him. So I think the lesson is um, kicks to the face add up more than kicks to the leg, right? If you don't take kicks to the face, then of course... You're going to be hurting him way more. But he took too many, man. Sagat took way too many kicks to the face. Nice, dude. Sugarfoot really wants to end it. Look at that. Wow. Wow. 
man, the battle of kicks, but, oh, see, like, but, I think this is the lesson, man, if you get kicked in the leg, and you know you're gonna feel it later, you better start kicking him in the face, right? <laughs> but if you kick him in the face, you better be prepared for some aggression, because people don't like getting kicked in the face, man. Yeah, that obvious. I just I said a truism. Like, who likes getting kicked in the face? I don't know. It's <laughs> a, a weird thing I just said. Like, <laughs> of course nobody likes getting kicked in the face. I don't know. People are weird in this world. You never know. Um, so it's funny because despite getting kicked in the face, Sagat's hands are still like one of his hands is not at his temple. I don't know what's going on. Like he hasn't changed his guard. Oh, he walked into a hook, man. Dude, he's he's dazed, man. He's dazed. Maybe you should give him a standing count. I think if I were the ref, I'd give him a standing count. He is still sort of intelligently attacking. Sort of. Sort of, right? He's not intelligently defending, but he's still intelligently attacking. So maybe when he's not really attacking anymore, that's when you give him a standing count. So that's the end of the ninth round, guys. We're going into the 10th and potential last round, people. So, okay, here we go, round 10. By the way, guys, go follow Peter Cunningham. I will put him in the end cards and I'll put him in the description. You guys can go follow him. I don't know if Sagat has a YouTube channel, but if he does, I think they're giving him a standing count. Yeah, definitely giving him, or no, what is going on there? Fixing his attire. Oh! Sugarfoot aimed at the face again. Again, aiming at the face. See, you see how that time Sagat's hand was up? And look at that. He didn't take the kick, right? You guys can rewatch that part. His right hand was up, so he didn't take the kick from Peter. But, man. Peter winning at the boxing and the kicks at the face. The only thing Sagat's winning at is the leg kicks. Which means Peter's going to be feeling it for the next week, man. But still, um, not enough to win him the fight. Unless a miracle happens, man, but Sagat seems to have come back a little. He's a little bit more conscious in this round. Last round, he looked like it was over, man, but sometimes you need a little break, a little bit of extra adrenaline, but look at that. Look at Peter. Look at Peter. I love it. This is the, the Peter flair, as we call it, the Sugarfoot flair. Kicking at the legs, not bad. Again, trying to kick at the feet. That's pretty smart. Kick at the legs, make them think you're kicking more at the legs and then kick at the feet, right? So much psychology, so much tactics, so much strategy in fighting, especially this type of fighting, okay? There's strategy and tactics and stuff in a street fight, but first of all, don't get into those. And second of all, those are much shorter and the energy expenditure is much longer. As in, it's much, you expend more energy in a shorter period of time in Street Fight. So Peter lifted his leg up. It's like his ability to check is like maybe 10 to 20%. He'll occasionally check, but very rare does he put the knee and the alignment of his shin at the right part. So, dude, they're gonna go more rounds? Oh my goodness, they're gonna go more rounds, guys. This is ridiculous, this is 11 rounds. They're going to go 11 rounds. Dude, what year was this? This would not be allowed now. Wow, dude. Peter is dominating with combos. Another kick to the face. Another kick to the face. Uh-oh. I guess that was allowed him. I guess because he didn't really scoop. It was more like, oof, ouch, that kick to the face. It was more like it was on his shoulder. So he sort of pushed him back. Peter finally doing some uppercuts. Good. Uppercuts are so underused, man. Peter with great three-hit combos. I even saw five-hit combos earlier. Like, combos are so important, man. Sagat right now, at most he's landing two-hit combos, but mostly it's just he's landing one-hit leg hits, leg kicks, as we say. So... Oh, that was mistimed. <laughs> Peter's like, oh, I'm tired too. <laughs> oh man, more leg kicks. 
There you go. There you go. Just keep them at distance, man. Keep them at distance. Would you eat a leg kick for a few punches to the head? That's a very Dutch kickboxing type of mentality. I'll take a leg kick and I'll punch him a few times in the face. So Sugarfoot, a.k.a. Peter Cunningham, is discovering Dutch kickboxing tactics. I don't know if he's trained Dutch kickboxing, but Dutch kickboxers will take a kick to the leg if that means I can punch you three times in the face or twice in the face and once in the body. So good lead hook entry. Oh, good combos. Again, you notice it's almost always three hit combos, man. So train your three hit combos, right? A very quick one that a lot of people train is a punch, punch, kick combo. So jab, cross, and then a lead roundhouse kick or jab, cross, and something else. So yeah, um, this was great. Oh, it's a guy that's not ready to hug yet. I don't think there's any doubt that Sugarfoot Peter Cunningham took this. So, no doubt that Sugarfoot Ke Peter Cunningham took this. Okay, so who did they give it to? Let's see. 110 to 102. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Great job. Great job, Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham. Now, you could argue, of course, that it wasn't full Muay Thai rules, right? Those were epic kickboxing, karate, slash just Michael Jackson, Bruce Lee-esque movements, man. So, absolutely incredible. I cannot believe it went 11 rounds, man. This went 11 rounds, people. Can you believe it? 11 freaking rounds, bro. Like, what the heck, man? Who would agree on 11 rounds? So let me know in the comments, guys, what you ever do in a 11 round match. Now, granted, I think they were two minute rounds, I believe. There were two minute 11 rounds. But still, man, 11 rounds, bro. What the heck? Fight commentary breakdowns out. Go follow Peter Cunningham.